Hello everybody, this is Nora with NAQ57 and I'm here to do an unboxing and a review of this Teresa 2-in-1 LED slash UV 72 watt lamp. Now here's how my glove, fit, how the glove fits on my hand, guys. It tends to be, I would say, I have very, I don't know if you can tell, but I do have very narrow hands and fingers. So in a sense, I'm not, it's not tight on myself. I'm just gonna say it's snubbed, as you can see. For, you know, the average hand, it tends to be larger than mine. I, I think I have smaller hands than the average from now seeing, you know, my friends and my, a lot of my clients, they, these might, might be a little too tight for the average size hand. Yeah, I'm very petite. I'm only 5'2", but uh, they fit nice. And the length happens to be just right, perfect right there with the, how much nail is exposed. Maybe these two are a little close, but not bad. Um, I'm not going to say that I will use these on my clients. I'm not going to put them out there. I mean, I guess I'll bring them if anyone asks. I don't know that anyone will ask me. Nobody has, you know, made any concerns about one not you know UV exposure on their their skin. Hey, we're in Florida. Everybody here is out in the sun and tent. But yeah, it's it's nice to have them, and this was it was nice to have it as an addition. Of on this lamp and there are two of them. I'm yeah, just trying one, but here's two. Here's the other one So now let's take a closer look at the lamp that I have it plugged in right here. And it's the cord, it's a good size cord, it's only about five feet cord. I didn't measure it, but just from pulling it from arm length to arm length, it's, it does have a good length and it reaches my outlet nice. Uh, now I do like that it has this label here, 72 watts. I have started to uh, label my lamps. Uh, somewhere um, right on them the wattage because I tend to forget especially if I don't keep the boxes But I like it that they went ahead and put the sticker on this one showing that it is a 72 watt lamp And as you can see the buttons here, we do have a 30 second setting 60 seconds and the low heat mode, which is a good feature I uh, starting that goes 120 seconds in this one So let me go ahead and set it up push that button as you saw the light came on and it starts counting down from 120 and so what it does it starts out at half the wattage and then about I think it's about about the 30 second mark that then it just it then it increases the wattage to full wattage and that that's to you know in case sometimes you have heat spikes you can use that mode to prevent that now you saw what it looked like inside I really like it's so pretty inside that pink and the, how the tray pulls out. So this one has somewhat of a dome shape right there with a round entrance or that entry right there. So, and it's nice and light. I do like that. And let me tell you something about lamps like these that are fully covered, guys. This is not This is nice because this way when the lamp is on, you do not, it, the light, the UV light does not leak outside of the lamp if you have product around this you don't have to worry about any of your product curing or getting damaged with the when the when you're using this lamp 
Now, as you can see already from me I'm moving it around, the lamp, so you can push the button, so start here with the 30 second, which is, the, that's the minimum. You can start it out by pushing the button right there. And if I push the button, I put my hand in and out, the sensor does not affect it. It continues to count down. That's a good feature. I like that feature for swatches, <laughs> doing swatches and things like that, going in and out or uh, yeah, when you have to do a quick flash cure. So that's good. If you want the sense to use the sensor, I'm gonna go ahead and let it count down here. It just has three more seconds to go from the 30 second setting. So it was still already set up for 30 seconds. And if you put your hand in, see, it does come on for 30 seconds. Now it's counting down. It does not have the smart feature, whereas like if you pull your hand out, it doesn't keep memory of where you left off. It will start back from 30 and count down. But that's okay, and it does the same thing with the 30 seconds. So that's one minor feature that is, is missing. Let me go ahead, we're well, gonna go ahead and just test the curing really quick with a couple of random colors that I grabbed here from Model Ones, and I'm gonna test them I'm on these tips. And there's Mr. Nutcracker again, making an appearance on my video. And every time I mention him or he shows up, I am giving a shout out to Nails of Interest. Go check out her YouTube um, channel and her tutorial on this little guy right here. Ooh, that's a beautiful color. And then <laughs> I did, if you haven't been following me on my Instagram and f my Facebook page, I do have those linked below where I put pictures of this my nutcracker and the ones that I've done on my client because he became quite popular at work. Here's this. So I grabbed these two colors. They're very dark and pigmented on purpose. So we can test, test them out here on the lamp and I'm gonna go ahead and put them here for 30 seconds. So now they are done. Let's see what this one, yep. Nicely cured, there it is. What you're seeing that, let me bring you up close. Okay, so these markings that I'm leaving on the polish, that's the in inhibition layer, guys. I mean, you can see, it's nicely cured. I'm gonna go ahead and finish them with the second coat. Okay, so here are my samples nicely finished again I haven't finished them with a top coat but they do have the inhibition layer yeah so very pleased with this lamp I think you like the features it's very pretty 72 watt it's excellent for curing any kind of product UV or LED product you have you can finish poly gel this is I mean 72 watts any gel polish here's again just to show you the distribution of the LED bulbs inside so very good distribution of and spacing of the light bulbs so that is it guys if you have any questions please leave them below and I'll be happy to answer I will leave all the links down in the description bar below and you saw all the goodies are included with this lamp as well I would like to thank Teresa for sending me this beautiful lamp to play with and review if you guys enjoyed my video please give it a thumbs up subscribe for more and Thank you for watching.